Well, today we had the launch of the all-new Jaguar F-Pace and of course this is Jaguar's first ever SUV not only in the Indian market but also across the globe and this car really has uh, managed to get Jaguar ahead even of its own sister brand uh, Land Rover when it comes to overall sales in the last quarter and in fact the last year and uh, what is this car all about? Well essentially this is a car which comes in India at 68.4 lakh rupees. It goes on sale immediately and it will also come with the all new 2 liter engineum diesel engine. So overall an all new uh, SUV with a whole lot of new engines from Jaguar. Well now we haven't really driven this car, we will drive it uh, sometime soon. But that said, uh, the launch of this car was phenomenal. The company had uh, the singer Mahadevan over here, which uh, is something great. And he performed uh, three songs with his crew, which are phenomenal. And they also had Narin Karthikeyan at the launch. But uh, let's have a look at what the interiors of this car are all about and what uh, it means for the Indian SUV luxury car buyer. Well, so here I'm inside the new F-Pace and as you can see outside there's a lot of uh, bevy of activity happening because this of course is the India launch. Now in terms of quality it really is probably the best at this price point and it's a very practical cabin as well. You get this huge box over here where you can keep your cell phone as well as your wallet and there's also a big bottle load over here and a small one over here as well. The door bins are large enough to house those uh, bottles. Now this car gets a digital display for the gauges which means that it looks pretty cool and there's also a huge 10 inch touchscreen panel for the infotainment as well as the rear parking camera so in that sense it is a pretty feature rich car you also get uh, the dramatic uh, swivel wheel over which pops out every time you switch this car on and of course this swivel wheel uh, is used to engage the gas and you can also choose between the dynamic settings over here by choosing the race mode the comfort mode the echo mode or the snow mode which means that this car's suspension as well as the overall drivetrain will adapt to the uh, conditions out there. Well, uh, if you have ever been inside a Jaguar XC, then this cabin will be very familiar because the AC vents, the infotainment unit, as well as a lot of the switch gear is very similar to the XC sedan. And overall, the quality is uh, pretty good. The top of the dashboard does feel uh, like it is made from soft plastics and even the lower end of the dashboard is pretty good. And as I just mentioned, in terms of overall practicality and usability, it is a pretty good place to be in. Now let's check out if the back seat is as good as the front ones. Well, today I'm in the second row of the uh, new f paces seats and as you can see, Neum is more than adequate and I have just the front seats as always for my driving position and my height for reference is 5'10 and there is place below the front seats where I can stretch my feet so I should be comfortable over here for those long journeys. The backrest angle is also pretty good. The only downside is that there's a huge hump in the floor panel but uh, that's quite okay because the foot wells are pretty deep so whoever is sitting here in the middle has plenty of place to stretch his feet at and the other good point about the seats of course is the fact that uh, the windows are pretty big so whoever is sitting here will not really feel hemmed in or feel uh, cramped in these seats over those long journeys. So overall it is a proper five seater and it is a decent car for three abreast and considering its size and relatively compact dimensions on the outside it is a job well done from the team at Jaguar in terms of overall packaging of the F-Pace. Well to aid comfort even further you get your own AC vents and you also get a 12 volt socket as well as a couple of USB ports to charge your cell phone as well as your tablets. So it is a car which really does take care of someone who is a big gadget freak and simply loves to use his gadgets in the backseat over here. Well, so as you can see, the boot on this car is uh, pretty massive and it is a very well-shaped boot. The aperture is pretty big and there's no loading still. The only issue is that it is rather high from the ground up, which means that you will have to put your back into it. And there's this odd cover for the spare wheel. Now, this car comes with a full-size spare wheel and that's why you get this cover. But that's quite okay because uh, you can easily slide in all your stuff into it and there's minimal intrusion from the suspension as well. So overall, in terms of uh, boot capacity, the F-Pace does not disappoint and it should be a good car for those long highway trips. <music>